These water culprits are absolutely very shy animals. They spend most of their time hiding. But they're very beautiful and they do feed real well. That's the female. The male is uh, hiding somewhere. He got, uh, he got some little treats uh, earlier. This is one of two pairs of uh, Naga annulata. Gee, I, you know, even though the guy corrected me, I, you know, I'm sorry, I appreciate the correction, but I've said Naja for so long, and everybody else I know says it, so not Naga. Uh, oh well, one of those quandaries, I guess. You know, let's give this bad boy uh, another feed. Oh, gotta be on your toes around these suckers. Here's a uh, East African gaboon. Look at those pupils. Well, I hope the camera saw that. Oh, <laughs> you decided to pop right up here and say hello, huh? That uh, that grab was too fast for me to uh, to see. Plus, the camera was sort of in the way. But as you can see, she uh, she has uh, Mr. Mouse, and will uh, send uh, it to its final resting place. You guys have to watch these common lanceheads. These are incredibly wacky snakes. Rawr. That wasn't very wacky though. Hold on. I'm going to try the other one. Hold on. I've seen them do gyrations you wouldn't imagine. Unless it's in your nightmares. Here, bud. Ah, ah, ah. That was scary. Common Lancehead. Bothrops Atrox. Very nasty customers. Long fangs, short fuse, as fast as a mamba but with heat-seeking pits. A exceptionally bad combination. This is my female bitis caudalis, aka the black widow and she does a head bobbing thing with me you can't see me head bob at the same time she is but uh, she does I know, I know hello my snakes like these uh, hides quite a lot uh, but I leave some as tubes for some species and it looks like uh, the Jamison's mamba here uh, likes to roll it all over to different places in the uh, in the lair. Hi! How are you? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, Miss Mamba? Huh? Huh? Look at her, huh? She looks a bit ragtag, but most uh, Jameson eyes, for some reason, get uh, get a mouth infection uh, upon arrival. 
Don't know why that is, but they do. It seems to clear itself up. Jameson Mamba Cam. You know, and this is classic. It sort of eats right through the bottom of their uh, jaw. Basically, uh, right below where their fangs cheese would settle and perhaps they inject themselves with a little bit of venom and get no local necrosis, but I've seen so many Jamisoni with those uh, areas of wear and tear on the, or necrosis or scabs or whatever you want to call them on the lower jaw, right below where the fangs uh, protrude down into the lower jaw. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it seems to be quite prevalent, but that's nothing new. Hi, Grilly. How are you? Huh? You want something to eat? I'll give her something to eat here shortly. Here. Hungry customers. Hey. No. Go that way, Studley. Hey, Mama. Come on. Come on. I got food. I got food. Ooh, ooh. Badass coral cobra. Ooh. 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 Ah, we're, we're pissy. How about you, bud? You interested in this? Hmm? Are you more interested in sex? Huh? Pissy Coral Cobra Cam. Oh, okay. That took you long enough to figure that out. That quick. Look at that beautiful head structure. Classic elongated head. The so called coffin head. Classic black mamba. She is such a gorgeous babe. Alright. Oh, I see my friend the King Culper visiting. He's coming to get me, but I can't take my eyes off the mamba. Hi, bud. How you doing? How are you tonight? Okay, let's let the mamba... See? <laughs> this buzzard, who just ate a mouse, decided he was going to come over and say hello. So let's open the cage and see what he has to say. Oh, that's what he has to say says, come here, I want to bite you, I miss you, I miss you. Ah! I've had bad turns in King Culber cages before. Okay, look, you're eating. There's no reason to get all upset. Just eat your rodents and I'll leave you alone. I had him out last night holding him and he was scared at first as you can imagine. I mean, 
what snakes really, really fear is, you know, this thing closing around their body feels like something's biting them. And so they react very, very badly to that initially, unless they're really, really used to being handled. <clears throat> well, at any rate, uh, he was very unhappy. And, you know, but he calmed down and, and was pretty good. And I let him go in here. And he's just uh, coming back tonight and showing me who's, who's boss. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Now go on, eat your other two rodents. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm not going to bother you. He came over to bother me. Now look, what a funny snake. He's, he's going right back after he showed me who's the boss. And going to probably eat his, uh, his second uh, rodent. Oh, come on, buddy. Eat it from the front end. There you go. That's a good little king cobra. Go ahead. You showed him. You showed me that you're the king in here. You scared me off. Now time to claim your meal. There you go. Good job. That's so nice. Oh, yummy. Oh, that's good. You you got the hang of this now, bud. You do a good job, huh? doing a good job. <clears throat> now you people understand why I'm not over there because he would consider you know he's got mm, quite a bit of testosterone and likes to show it to me like you folks just saw. You know subsequently if I went over there he would spit out the mouse and then uh, have to uh, shoo me away again. So that's why I don't necessarily hand feed him because he would rather bite me than feed. He's been talking to those perps at night, I think. Okay, well, let's let him go. We got other things to do. Okay, now this is the uh, Fields Horned Viper, and she, of course, is interested in feeding, so. As soon as I reach the slide the glass back, she'll strike. So let's just be prepared for that. Because that always, always happens. <clears throat> it's fairly predictable. Now let's see if we can do a... Oh, sorry, folks. Ah! Oh, man, that one even scared the crap out of me. A lot of times she'll take it as gentle as you can imagine. Just like... Uh, you know, you were you were feeding a a little uh, little puppy or something, and sometimes not so uh, not so gentle as we can see. Wow, who scared me? No wet spots though. Okay, let's see if uh, these little uh, geezers uh, uh, want to eat uh, some beef heart today without me having to uh, do too much uh, annoying. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the right shape. Just the right shape. Ooh, now we're getting dusty. Yeah. Have the beef heart salami. Oh, there we go. Well, you spit it out. Well, almost. Almost it's got a fang in it. Got a fang in it. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Much better if you do it yourself. Well, you do hook that fang in there, don't you? Want to bite the other end? No, sideways doesn't work. Sideways doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. 
It's okay. Let's see what uh, your friend wants to do here. Well, well I know you had beef art the other day. Yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. The beef heart salami. Ooh. You could be related to Linda Lovelace. Very good job. Look at that. Look at that. See now these beef hearts were warmed up and soaked uh, in with uh, mice that I fed everybody else so uh, they do have mouse scenting so these guys will be imprinted on mouse and it's good that they're eating uh, sort of on their own with little provocation uh, because that means uh, that this is a quick easy meal that's very high in protein an easy package for them to swallow so they don't expend a lot of energy because believe me when they're struggling against me restraining them and fighting for me to uh, get it down their throat if it was a mouse um, a mouse pink or something they expend a lot of energy doing that and are pretty well exhausted uh, when they get done you know this way it fits perfectly it's solid mass uh, it's a very very good meal there's a little bit of fat in it uh, but that's okay they need protein right now uh, you know and if I give them a, a big chunk of protein like that they just do great Okay, basically we're pretty much done. Well, let me get that out of your mouth. Okay, there you go. We don't want substrate. Okay, the heart kielbasa express here. Woohoo! Mr. Brown is either sleeping or he's dead. We'll find out uh, which of the two. Now, I just wanted to show you guys something. Look at the... Uh, out it's really tough with these reflections but look how right at the anal scoot it gets narrow and then it bulges and then it tapers off well that's that's very much so a male uh, people have a hard time telling male from female um, and I do sometimes even the best get confused uh, right Joe but uh, this is obviously a male, uh, King Brown, and he's, uh, that's where he stores his hemipenis when not in use. Now, we'll see if he's alive or dead. Oh, Mr. Brown, he's alive. We knew that all along, but he... Uh, he certainly comes to life uh, fairly rapidly. Hi, Mr. Brown. He hates when I wake him up. Hi, Mr. Brown. Hi, Mr. Brown. We'll blow some uh, rodent broth in there. Let's see if that uh, gets his attention. Hi, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Ooh, we got the tongue flicks going. Hi, Mr. Brown. All right. Well, Mr. Brown's due feeding, so we'll uh, get him something to eat here in a minute. 